They say that once you're in his sights, you're already dead. Greetings everyone and welcome to a review of the Fortnite Battle Royale Collection Port of Fort. So it includes an exclusive infiltrator figure and is basically the cheapest way of getting the Battle Royale Collection like building system I suppose. It's hard to explain really but I've already opened it and built it and uh, let's just get into it. So first off let's actually look at the exclusive infiltrator figure. So it's one of the standard male figures that you get within the line. It's nothing really that special. You know, specialised pose for the weapon, which I'll get into in a second. He does come with a very interesting item, which is just a small silver orb, but printed on it, hopefully I can make, make it focus, it's actually the device that creates the port fort Um, I think in game it's literally just called a port fort But yeah, the... Uh, Item has a nice little print on it, on that blue, showing what is essentially just the shape of the port of fort And, uh, it's a nice little thing. It's not hugely detailed, but it has enough where, you know, you can tell what it is. Peg on the back, which does actually fit directly into his hand there. Nice enough thing overall. Nice thing to get, especially in a set like this, which, you know, you might as well have the thing that creates the set. Um, good playability. Pretty neat. And then the weapon that I mentioned before is a heavy sniper rifle. And you know what? I'm not exactly, you know, amazed by this design because it is just plain black. There's no paint or decals or anything. But it looks pretty good in the moulding. It's, you know, pretty well sized compared to the figure, though it is just because of the proportions. Pretty long compared to the figure's height. Um, but overall, like, it fits pretty well. It actually fits directly into the hands. You've got a trigger, a trigger finger here, and then the uh, hand with the hole actually works as a, you know, weapon holding hand. And that works pretty well, in my opinion. You know, it looks almost like he is looking down the scope, and generally you put him at the top of the tower, and suddenly you've got an overwatch position. It's actually pretty good. Looking at the figure alone, you can see it has some pretty good paintwork, especially on the hat with the little symbol there. It's, you know, painted cleanly at the very least. It's a pretty basic design overall, and I don't blame the creators of it, the actual figure, too much. It's a game thing. It looks like this in games, so it's fair enough. As I pointed out before, he does have the hole in his hand to hold any of the peg items, and then a trigger finger, which can be used to hold pretty much any weapon in the range. Uh, other than like the minigun, which for obvious reasons won't really fit in that hand. Then on the back you have a peg hole for, you know, attaching a back bling or a weapon or even the port fort in fact, which I just dropped directly in front of the camera there we go. Um, but yeah, you can fit that on if you want, if you want to have that as the back bling. I don't really like that design, I actually prefer to put it in his hand, but still. As for posability, he has arms which can both move. Um, that one has much more free movement because of the actual, you know, location of it. This one kind of gets blocked by the head. Though you can technically force it all the way around. You just have to bend it a little bit. It's not great for the figure, but it does work. And then there's waist articulation. No head articulation, but it does make sense with the position of the hands and everything. He's always looking in the direction that he's either pointing with that finger or the way he's actually aiming if he's holding a gun. So... Yeah, I'm not huge on the lack of articulation, but I think it's alright overall, and it is no different from any other figure in the line. Three point articulation is the name of the game for this entire set. So now that we've gone through the figure, let's actually go over this entire building system. It's pretty basic, but it is interesting in its own way. So first off, there's a layer here, just clips on very loosely, not really that difficult to take off. Shows that the top cone bit is hollow, but you can then pop that off of here. It's very difficult with one hand, to be fair. Um, that just becomes its own separate piece. You'll then notice there's actually hinge points or connector points on all these walls. You can actually completely dismantle. Ah, uh, this is not exactly the easiest thing one-handed, but you can completely... I'll just leave it like that. Dismantle all the wall parts making them like this, and uh, as you can see they have just very specific connection points, pretty easy to snap together, 
if you're uh, using both hands. And yeah, you have pins on the top and then you have receiving points at the bottom. It's the same with this one, though this one also has a door, which is a nice little feature. Then if you take the bottom layer off, you'll notice, if I just move all those out of the way, that the base plate actually has a ton of peg points for actual figures. So if I just grab a random, well, the Infiltrator figure. Uh, I, there is a random figure to my left, so I thought I'd grab that one. I didn't actually look. Um, but you can basically clip them anywhere on, and we'll grab the other one just to show. So this is just a random figure from the line. So you can just connect them on there. And they're pretty secure. And by pretty secure, I mean you could hit them against a wall probably and they'd stay in. It's pretty good connection overall. It's actually much better than the stands that these figures come with, the solo and duo packs. Um, so overall, I can't really complain about this. And there we have it. So that is the Fortnite Battle Royale Collection Portafort with an exclusive Infiltrator figure. It's one of the cheapest sets, if not the cheapest sets that you can get. On Amazon, it's like something like £7. So if you're at all interested in just checking out what this has to offer, and if you're a fan of the, you know, this line of figures, getting an exclusive figure with a very unique weapon. It's not a bad shout. I quite enjoy it. I think it's a really nice display piece. And overall, I'm very excited to see what the other playsets and vehicles and stuff like that actually add. But in any case, that's going to be it for this review. If you liked it, make sure to like it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, yeah, without further ado, so from me. So yeah. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.